Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial video. Um, today's video is going to be about basic HMD usage in the F-18. Um, I'm going to be going through essentially just how to slave the targeting pod to your HMD. So if you see a target visually on the ground, like if you wanted to like slew the T-pod to that cluster buildings over there, how to do that. Um, also going to be showing you how to um, use AIM-9 x-rays over like what we have on the wingtips to engage targets without having to actually get the nose on them and also how to lock targets with the radar and fire amrams at targets using the hmd so first thing i'm just going to go into active pause here uh turn on our hmd over here um we may need to make sure that you have targeting pod and you want to have the FLIR switch on um and we'll do that first so we want to go to air to ground mode um, I'll go through controls actually. So we're going to need air to air and air to ground. That's one and two on your keyboard by default. Um, we're also going to need target manage or sorry, sensor control switch um, forward, right, and left. Um, and we are going to need the throttle designated control as well as the axis to slew um, the throttle designated control, or you can just do down, left, right, and up. Um, uh, we're also going to need trigger and AMRAM select and sidewinder select. Um, all right, if, again, if there's any that I forget, uh, I will make sure to show you those controls uh, when I get to that part, but I think that's all of them. So we'll do this first. We want to come over here. Uh, we want to select the FLIR. Then we want to do sensor control switch up. So you can see we have that circle here now in the middle of our um, flight path marker. And we also have this kind of dashed sort of circle um, on our HMD. And what we're going to do is we'll just go over here and you're going to want to press TDC depress. So now we have that diamond there. And then we'll do sensor control switch right again just to set our teapot as soy. And now you can see we can move this around, fine tune it, zoom in and everything, um, and see targets on that. Okay, that's pretty much all it is. Pretty straightforward, but definitely a super useful thing to be able to do. Um, Next thing we're going to do is come to, into air-to-air -air mode, and we'll press our AMRAM select just so we can have that selected and get rid of that tone for the time being. Um, we'll set this one to stores just so we can see what we have. Um, we want to make sure you have master arm on. And then let's start looking for some targets. We get a couple of F-16s. Um, let's just try and find that cheat a little bit. Alright, so there's one up here, or actually I'll try and go for this one if I can see that over there so what we're going to want to do is press tms up make this soy and then we can look at it and you can see it locks it automatically and then we'll just get a little over here that's probably pretty good and then we can press and hold trigger second detent box three Let's see our missile going over there This will be useful if you're in close range where you can see the target, but you're too far away for um, sidewinders. And that's splash one. So we can come over here and just undesignate that target. Come on. There we go. Sorry, I'm just fiddling with that. Um, Next, we're going to press our sidewinder select. We have that tone. You can see we have that circle on our HUD, on our HMD rather. So we'll start looking for our other target. Just cheat a little bit just to try and find where it is. Where is it? It's over here. Oh, there it is. I see it. So you can see that's the high tone. And that's Fox 2. Uh, splash two F-16s. So you can see with those, you get a really nice um, kind of way off boresight angles that you can engage targets with. That's why the N N X is so amazing with its um, uh, thrust vectoring. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, informative, um, consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Um, 
and I'll see you in the next video.